Hey guys, what's up? It's Anne and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're a subscriber, hello. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. <laughs> for today's video, I haven't done anything like this in my channel before. Actually, I really want to put my thoughts out there about Picos. As you guys can see the title, today we're gonna talk about PICOS or what we call polycystic ovary syndrome. In short, it's PICOS. So if you wanna know my thoughts about it, then please keep on watching. Kaya mo kin lik tang video. It's um either you're curious or you know someone who has PICOS or you have PICOS. I'm gonna be honest to you guys. Because I want to be transparent. But I want to break the stigma about the picos. Nah, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, I'm really doing this video because I myself, I have picos or what we call polycystic ovary syndrome. I'm starting to not be ashamed of it because I know it's normal and a lot of girls are experiencing it. Siguro, 8 out of 10 people I know suffers from picos and experience picos and gumaling sila. A little disclaimer, I guess. Again, I'm not a pro, I'm not a doctor, so you shouldn't. Kunyari sinabi ko na ganito, ay may ganito rin ako, so may picos na ako. So, if you're experiencing any symptoms or signs, make sure to go to your doctor. Kasi sila yung makapagsabi kung ano talaga yung cause ng picos mo, kung may picos ka talaga, and how gagamutin. Kasi yung sasabihin ko for this video is based on my personal experience and yung mga experience ng mga friends ko na may picos din. So, kumbaga this video is just a little and formative for you guys. Parang isa siya sa mga final step para maisip nyo na kailangan ko na ba pumunta sa doctor? May picos ba talaga ako? Kailangan ko ba talaga mag-macheck? And sorry guys if the lighting keeps changing kasi I'm just using natural lighting. Nawawala yung araw, lumulubog. Lumul <laughs> yung araw, lumulubog. So, I'm really sorry. First is I'm gonna like I'm gonna tell you like yung symptoms ng picos based on my doctor, yung mga based din sa mga nababasa ko sa website or sa internet. Common symptoms of picos include syempre unang-una yan irregular periods and kahit no periods at all. Second is difficulty getting pregnant because of irregular ovulation or failure to ovulate. So excessive hair growth usually on the face, chest, back or sa may butt that then butt area and weight gain tapos thinning of hair and hair loss from the head oily skin or acne so if meron kang symptoms especially yung unang una which is irregular um i think you should go to the nearest like ob gynae or you know someone na nagpapa check so make sure to go okay so first is the first symptoms at first nagka period ako when i was 14 i am already 22 and for the span of 8 years um of having my first menstruation is hindi ako nagkaroon ng regular period like every month ganun from the past years i was was very happy kasi nga pa na sabi ko ah hindi ko naranasan magka period hindi ako gasto sa napkin hindi sumasakit yung puson ko ganun pero pag nagkakaroon naman ako sobrang lakas and sobrang sakit ng puson ko kaya sabi ko siguro parang every 3 months ako nagkakaroon before binabayaran ko lang yung utang ko na tatlong buwan kaya dun sa isang buwan na magkaka period ako sobrang lakas and sobrang sakit ng puson ko dumating yung time when I think that was last year napansin ko na isang taon na akong hindi nagkaroon ng period. Hindi ko talaga alam kung anong ma-feel ko. Kasabi ko kung pregnant naman ako, <laughs> I would know. I'm really sure that I'm not kasi hindi naman talaga ako nagkaka-period. So, imposible. Tapos, I was scrolling through Facebook and I read a Facebook post about picos and it's real and mahirap siyang i-overcome kapag matagal na. Kunyari, you're experiencing it for a year na already and you haven't done anything about it na parang iniisip mo na it's, ah, wala lang tong period, late lang to, ganang ganyan In the near future, kapag medyo gusto mo na magka-baby, mahirapan na kayo kasi mahirap siyang gamutin, hindi mo siya kayang gamutin. Like, and span of 6 months, parang ganun. Usually, span of 6 months talaga. Pero, based on my experience, nahihirapan akong gamutin siya in just 6 months. I decided na pumunta na nga sa ob ni and yung ob ni ko is doctor din siya nung wife ng kuya ko. Tapos, dun ko nalaman, nalaman na may picos din yung wife ng kuya ko. So, sabi niya, tinrate ni doktora yung picos ko. So, magaling siya. So, if naranasan mo yun, go to her and may recommend niya yung magagandang um, medications 
for your situation. Maraming test na ginawa sa akin. Blood test, parang medical, ganun. They need to get your blood test para malaman nila. Dito na papasok yung third symptoms, which is yung excessive hair growth. Marami kang hair sa mga areas na wala ka namang dapat na hair. Kunyari, um, sa lalaki, di ba, mabalbas sila. So, siguro, meron ka rin nun. Mabalbas ka rin. Chest, or sa back, or sa may butt nga. And, according to the test, and according to my body, wala akong ganun. So, negative ako with the excessive hair growth. Fourth is weight gain. And, sabi naman ng doktora, hindi naman siguro ikaw <laughs> nagkaka-weight gain. Kasi, as you guys know, payat lang ako. Slim lang yung katawan ko. Next is yung thinning of hair and hair loss. Wala. As in, hindi ako nagkaka-hair loss. Hindi manipis yung buhok ko. It's normal. Kahit kulay ako ng kulay, okay rawan yung buhok ko. And actually, ngayon ko lang itong nabasa na yung oily skin pala is symptom ng picos. And I have oily skin as you guys know. Ang actually, ang sinabi lang sa akin ng doktor is acne. Kasi basta meron lang kayong irregular period, magpa-check na kayo guys. Kasi normally talaga dapat every month, same cycle, same days, ganun. So kahit malayit man kayo ng 3 months or 4 months, I think magpa-check na kayo para mas ma-regular kayo. Kasi mahirap pag hindi nyo nalalabas yung period nyo. Kasi dumi yan sa takatawa natin. So kailangan nilalabas natin sila. Pinakalas na gagawing test sa'yo is ultrasound. And if a flash ko sa screen yung result ng ultrasound ko, yung ovaries ko, makikita nyo dalawa siya. So parehas siya. Meron siyang bilog-bilog. So circle. Yun yung mga namuong period. Sabi nung doktora. Kasi di ba pag nagpi-period tayo, nilalabas natin yung dumi. And then pagkalabas ng dumi, tsaka nagmamature or nagmamature yung egg cells natin. Kaya tayo nagiging fertile. Pero dahil may picos ka, hindi mo nalalabas yung mga dumi hindi siya nagkaka-chance na mag-mature yung mga egg cell. Kaya hindi tayo nagiging fertile. Kaya nahihirapan tayong mabuntis. So, it's not that um, I'm planning to get pregnant at this age. I really wanna, like, gamutin na siya. And at my age now, para pag dumating na ako dun sa phase na gusto ko na mag-baby or ready na ako mag-baby, hindi na ako magkakaroon ng problema. May nakalagay sa website na risks in later lives. Magkakaroon ka ng diabetes, depression, and mood swings, high blood pressure, heart disease as well. And I know na it can also lead sa parang tumor kasi mamumuo yung dugo dun sa ovaries mo. So mahirapan ka na. Mas more complicated siya in the future. On to the next thing. So, after ko magpa-check, aresetahan ako. Ito may share ko sa inyo, guys. It will differ. Unang-una, iba yung, iba-iba yung katawan natin. Iba yung construction ng katawan natin. Iba-iba yung signs and symptoms natin na may picos. It depende nung ob ni kung ano yung papainom nila sa'yo. So, itong share ko sa inyo is yung pinainom sa akin. So, kung isa ka sa katulad ko na irig and just oily skin, huwag nyong i-assume na yung isa sabihin kong gamot is for you as well. Kasi sasabihin nyo, hindi, may oily skin ako, and then irig din ako, so pares kami ni Anne. So, siguro okay na tong bibilin ko, pares na kami. I suggest, paulit-ulit ako, go to your nearest ob ni if and if nakakaranas kayo or on one or two or any of those symptoms na mention ko kanina. So, niresetahan nga ako. So, dahil hindi nga ako nagkaka-period, niresetahan ako ng what we call Provera. Hindi mo siya mabibila sa any drugstore unless may reseta ka. Kasi pang pa-bleed siya. Narecommend siya sa akin na i-take for 10 days and in that 10 days, dapat magkaroon ako ng period. Ang pag nag-start ako magkaroon ng period, doon na ako mag-start uminom ng pills. Yes, pills. Naresetahan din ako ng pills. Huwag niyong isipin and alam ko na ang mindset natin about pills is for the people who don't want to get pregnant and have sex. Hindi lang siya for not getting pregnant. It also helps na ma-regulate yung period ng isang babae. Okay, so if you have picos and for sure ire-reseta sa inyo yung pills, huwag kayong mahihiya <laughs> na like na nagtitake ka ng pills kahit hindi ka naman wala kang boyfriend or hindi mo balak mabuntis or hindi pa na-accept ng society sa atin na may picos and we use pills to treat picos. Alam ko na if you guys are going to a drugstore tapos meron kayong mga matatandang kasabay and maririnig nila kayo, nabibili kayo ng pills and then, ayun na, judge niya yung mga face nila like, ano ba to? Ang bata ba to? Minom ng pills, ganyan ganyan. Okay, mahiya kasi they don't know anything and I mean, ako, sobrang nahihirapan ako kung i-treat siya and I'm starting to think na magagamot pa ba to kasi I've been like into in medication for 6 months now. Advice ng 
Kobe guy ni is stop ko muna yung pag-inom ng pills and we'll see if magiging regular yung period ko. And hindi siya nag-regular. Dalawang buwan lang, nagka-period ako. Pero right after that, my last period is yung July pa. So, August, September, October, November. So, four months na akong hindi nagkaka-period. And I decided na bumalik ulit sa medication. Try and try and try and try until maging regular siya. It's a little bit, like, mahirap for me. Especially at my age. Bakit ngayon ko lang naisip gamutin siya? Siguro, like, you know, when it comes to the point na iniisip ko, gag magagamot pa ba to? Magkaka-baby pa ba ako kapag gusto ko na magka-baby? Maybe yung mga bagay na ganun. Sabi naman ni Alan na don't focus on yung ganong bagay muna. Just focus na pagalingin ko muna yung picos ko. Everything will come into place naman daw <laughs> kapag ready na lahat. Which is true. Yun lang naman. Shinare ko lang naman sa inyo guys. A little something I know about picos. So again, ni porket may picos ka, hindi ka na mabubuntis ever. Different yung what we call na hindi na magkakababy into it. Not fertile. Hindi nagiging fertile. So it's a very different different thing. I think yung hindi na magkakababy talaga is not really curable. Unlike sa may picos na we can have baby but not now. Parang ganun. We have to treat this first. If you're experiencing one or two of the symptoms that I mentioned, don't forget to go or huwag na kayong magdalawang isip na pumunta sa nearest OB guy ninyo. And o oh nga pala, nakalimutan ko i-mention. I know a lot of people, three or four people na may baby na sila but still experience Pico. So, kahit nagka-baby na sila, prone pa rin sila sa Pico. So, wala siyang pinipili. Kahit dalaga ka, kahit may baby ka na, kahit medyo may edad ka na, if Picos hits you, Picos will hit you. Or a little reminder lang for everyone who's watching this, it can happen to anyone. Um, thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. Then again, thank you. Bye!